Good morning, good morning. Real quick, let's talk about the difference between assessed value and the appraised value. What a home is worth. A home is worth, the home's worth is based on sold comparables within the vicinity of the home. Based on sold comps, apples to apples. So a three bed, two bath house down the street is worth X based on the, the sold comparables around it. That's how an appraisal will determine value. That's how a broker price opinion will determine value. No part of the value, no part of determining the value of a home is based on the assessed value, the tax record value. That's just the value that the town has put on the property based on their last assessment. It's the town, the number in which uh, the, the owner pays taxes on. It is 100% common. In fact, it would be the, it would be um, not the norm for the house to be in line with the assessed value. The house is always probably going to be worth more than the assessed value based on a sold comp. And if you want the assessed value to be higher, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense because then it's going to make your taxes higher. So we definitely don't want that. So when, when you're pricing out a home or you're doing some comparables or you're, you're, you're you know, providing information on home values in the area, none of that data is going to be supported by the assessed value. The assessed value is from your assessor's office based on how the home is taxed, not based on beds, baths, counts, gross living area, square footage, lot size, driveway, garage. None of that's factored into the pricing. All right? So never use the assessed value if your buyer comes to you and says, geez, the assessed value is this, then you can say, the, the worth of the house is based on the comps in the neighborhood, both sold, active, what the market history is, all right, what the market data provides. All right, so that's how you arrive at value. You arrive at value based on apples to apples in an environment based on sold comps. All right.